Small bugloss is a terrestrial herbaceous weed native to Europe. It was likely introduced to North America as a contaminant in hay, grain seed, or other plant material, and is now found in most northern regions of the continent. Small bugloss capitalizes on disturbance and does best in full sun. It's frequently found in or along railroads, roadsides, old abandoned fields, pastures, and waste areas. This species is largely a weed of agriculture, reducing range, pasture, and crop production, especially in small grains. The plants are largely unpalatable to livestock and contain pyrrolizidine alkaloids that can cause liver damage if ingested. Small bugloss is an annual or winter annual growing from a taproot. In northwestern North America, most seed germination occurs in early spring, though some seeds germinate in fall and overwinter as small rosettes. Rosette leaves are lance-shaped, up to six inches long by one and a half inches wide, and have prominent mid-veins. Leaves have wavy margins and a warty, rough texture. Plants bolt in late spring, growing one to several stems that typically reach six to 16 inches tall. Stems are most often erect and usually branched on their upper halves. Rosette leaves tend to wither as plants bolt. Stem leaves are smaller than rosette leaves, grow alternately up the stem, and don't have stalks. Stems and both sides of leaves are covered in stiff, bristly hairs. Flowers are produced from early summer to the first hard frost. Flowers appear in several fiddle neck arrangements, typically containing fewer than 10 flowers each. There are small bracts beneath each flower. Flowers are a half to a quarter inch across and are somewhat tubular with five bluish whitish petals fused at the base and a white fuzzy center. The flower tube has a distinctive curve at its midpoint. Each flower produces four one-seeded and rough-coated nutlets. A mature plant produces 250 seeds on average. These remain viable for about three years. Plants die after flowering. Several relatives in this borage family are present in North America, and they resemble small bugloss with their fiddle neck flowers, rough textured leaves, and nutlet fruit. Most native species in this family have different colored flowers. The flowers of native blue borages are typically more hanging and tubular, or they have yellow centers. The exotic Patterson's Curse and Viper's bugloss are larger than small bugloss. Their flowers are less tubular and more uneven, where the top overhangs the bottom, and some of their stamens protrude beyond the flower petals. The weedy common bugloss is very similar to small bugloss, but it behaves as a biennial or short-lived perennial. It often grows taller, its flower tubes are not curved, and its foliage is not as warty as small bugloss. The weedy German matwort is also very similar. It typically grows more sprawling than small bugloss. Its flowers are darker in the center and not tubular and it has fewer leaves that are not as ruffled or warty as small bugloss.